people are serving 150 notice. Before you do so, good evening, council. Good evening, people. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, for the record, I have multiple press application before the court. I noted defense counsel's objection to the video recording live and still for photography. This court will permit one video and one photography from the reporting agency. Please proceed, people. Serving 19050 notice 24030 25020, reserving any other notices at this time. People also requesting a full order of protection on behalf of the complainant, Jonathan Max. Is there a close for 9050 notice? No, there's not. Thank you. The defendant is charged with on June 13, 2019, igniting a fire at Rabbi Jonathan Max's home. Rabbi Max was in the home at the time of the incident. There is video which shows the defendant at the location and then heading towards another location. There are receipts showing defendant's purchase with charcoal and matches. Defendant also made admissions to setting the fire and using gasoline and charcoal. And this was after the defendant was tracked and found in Manhattan with a bag full of lighter fluid and ax and knives. The defendant has made online postings indicated that he wanted to kill Rabbi Max the defendant has a tattoo which reads, Never let go of the hatred. Kill Rabbi Max. Imam Shemo, those last two words translate to his name should be erased. The defendant has out of state contacts. The court can see that on the rap sheet. The defendant told CJ that he's been living in Pennsylvania for at least 10 months. And the contact information provided to CJ was minimal, if not non existent. The defendant did not provide any community ties. Defendant's posts speak to the defendant's character, and given the evidence against the defendant of the strength of the people's case and the severe consequences of defendant's actions, which were that there were several people in the rabbi's home as well as the two other homes that were burned as a result of the defendant's actions, people are requesting that defendant be remanded. It should be noted that there were several people who were treated at local hospitals, and those people included children as well as one infant. We are requesting remand. Defendant is facing a significant jail sentence if found guilty on attempted murder in the second degree and arson in the second degree. Your Honor, I'm reserving a, a complete bail argument for a later date. I would just um, request that you set a dollar bail amount rather than remand. Uh, the top charge is a B, B violent felony. Uh, I don't believe remand is appropriate for someone with. Um, no criminal record. Answer any issue on the order of protection? No. Mr. Calderepes? Good evening. Good evening. This court is going to issue a full temporary order of protection against you in favor of Rabbi Jonathan Max. J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, last name M-A-X. Why your case is going on? And this other judge of this court tells you otherwise. Your order to stay away and have no contact with him. No contact means in person, by phone, through email, text, instant message, card, letter, Twitter, Facebook, any other apps or any other way that you can imagine. That also includes sending messages to him through other people. No third party contact is allowed. You <coughs> must stay away from his home, his school, his business, his place of employment. Do you understand that? Yes, you are right. Do you have any question? No, you are right. Please sign the order of protection.
people to confirm what is the arrest date and time? The arrest date is June 16, 2019 at 1.30 a.m. So if the court is looking for the 180-80 date, it would be June 21st. Counsel, do you agree on the 180-80 day calculation? Yes. I just want to know for the record that I did ask counsel if she was requesting a 730 exam and counsel indicated no. Answer? No. And people, you stated that uh, multiple people were in the hospital? Multiple people were in the homes of Reverend Max as well as the two others that were heard, and several individuals had to be treated at the hospital. And those individuals included children, including an infant. Sir, your case is adjourned to the AP1 paper for June 21st, 2019 for grand jury action. And counsel, I noted for the record that your client waived the grand cross grand jury notice, right? I did not serve cross grand jury notice. No. So you waived? I did not serve it. Okay. So the defendant is remanded for this case, officer take charge. Thank you.